Capricorns, welcome. It's your heart spread read here for the end of November 2021. This is an eight card spread using the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck today. In case you give a darn. Um, it ends up in the shape of a heart. And it reads the one that's on your mind and your heart. You know what that? A little romantic. I've already shuffled, trying to move things along. Uh, taking my time moving through the day. And as always, on Fridays, doing Sagittarius and Capricorn. Singles and couples. Couples is the heart spread here. If you know any singles that are completely and totally single, tell them to check out Meet Soulmate Read. But this is going to be for the one on your mind. Capricorns, here's your energy. Which is the Jupiter card. Wheel of Fortune. Now this is your energy in and around relationships. Where your mind is at and where your heart is at. Get the right focus. Um, Jupiter. It's in Aquarius right now. What? 23 degrees. So this is, I like to see as your energy coming into the relationship, a little bit of a baseline, see where you're at uh, beyond how you're at interacting with your person, which we'll see in the next card, the third card up here. Um, so you could be having a, I don't know if you know it yet, but um, a fortuitous uh, uh, Jupiter um, cycle Maybe it's your Jupiter return. Maybe your Jupiter is in Aquarius. I don't know. <clears throat> but somehow Jupiter is a, a benefit for you. Has been uh, or is being uh, right now. Uh, opportunity, luck. Uh, if you'd be resonating kind of with that. I do read the bottom of the deck now. On this reading. Uh, lightly, I'd say. Um, in here. Yeah, as you closer the better huh the nine of pentacles yeah it's not so much about being a bachelor it's about being self-contained that's the main thing you might have two people here that are mature and self-contained people now let's see about your person here who we're dealing with i'm not reading reversals for a number of reasons now so they're coming in that's the empress energy here taurus energy Really beautiful. Now I got to tell you though, comes to mind. Look at this. Um, maybe your Jupiter, what it brings is opportunity, but Jupiter, no reason Jupiter can't bring romance to the situation here, guys. <laughs> um, and man or woman, this would be a beautiful person. Uh, just a beautiful woman, probably a maybe extra femme type of woman. Um, or if a guy just really charming, that kind of energy if a guy. Um, I like it. I mean, it's really good energy to come in with. Uh, it's kind of up in the air, but I know, you know, being a Capricorn, you're solid, you're earth, you know. Uh, whatever this is, it's real. I mean, Capricorn is the one kind of, I hate to go just by sign to make even this bold of a statement. But it's the one sign, it's like it's got to be the hardest to rip them off in any way, shape, or form. Or fool, fool them, you know. Um, so this is something coming in for you that's really working out for you, Caps. Now this is your energy as you're relating to them. And that's fire and that's Leo with the throne having the lion's heads on it. Of course the little cat there. And what a beautiful queen. This is uh, really feeling lit up, you know. Um, your fire energy caps often have Sag energy banging in them. So that's what this is. And you're feeling this towards them. I mean, you, this is really applying like just flat out a lot of sexual passion, you know. You are really turned on to them. Um, we really don't know at the Wheel of Fortune, but you might just be a queen anyway. And they're just bringing out the fire in the queen. And, um, you know, you likey that. You likey that empress, you know. And the empress, you know, it's like a, it's got to be a fantastically attractive energy. So this is a beautiful person, a handsome man, charming handsome man, or a woman who's very beautiful and you know, like appealing. That's interesting. Or definitely, that's how um, Caps 
you're going to see them, right? Now, seven of cups coming into it. So that's how they're feeling about you. They're confused. Wow. So they're just confused. They're coming into this and feeling confused um, about things, guys. Um, and they seem like a very solid person. You know, for, for them to be confused kind of says a lot. Um, let me see if I could just get a clarifier on that, on the confusion. I see. So here we see clarifying the Seven of Cups because I was a little fuzzy here. Um, I have the Two of Pentacles. You, uh, Capricorns, you knocked them off balance. You know, the, they're used to being uh, on it, like uh, the Empress in control. Uh, the Empress, you know, um, always got her makeup on, uh, metaphorically, man or woman, always a uh, charming kind of think li Libra energy more more than Taurus um, like you know uh, you'd think it would go that way uh, that being their card and this is like you just uh, not emotionally knock them off their game right it's not exactly a good thing it's not exactly a bad it's actually directly in response to your passion and sexuality capricorn which you know god bless you uh, but in response to your passion and sexuality they have this a little bit of being a, a confused emotionally uh confused with this seven of cups particularly um and the two of pentacles is uh because you just knock them you knock their socks off you knock them off their game you know, the Empress, it can have an element like the Emperor being in control, too, because it's very, it's the most powerful feminine energy. It's Emperor, Emperor, really, you know, potatoes, potatoes, um, either way, right? That's the energy of the kind of control, the power person. And I'm always saying, like, you can't kill an Emperor, an Empress. You're never going to get close enough. You've got an entire uh, empire to protect them. But they take lovers, and so their hearts are vulnerable, not to knives, but to love. The empress, the emperor, the kings, the queens. That's how they're vulnerable. Yeah. Now, this is your advice from spirit and how to best deal with this person. Very interesting for advice. This is about saying something to the person and possibly to setting some kind of boundary maybe it's like saying something about setting a boundary and you're looking back to and looking down um, and this is advice from spirit a lot of times we don't want to take the advice I mean, it, it really could be a voice in your head saying, you know, take it down a notch here. You know, this is brand new. This kind of be practical advice, like if it was like a, a friend or something. You know, hey, it's brand new, man. Take it down a notch, Cap. Um, and, you know, chill just a minute. You know, it's a real kind of a, yeah, like a, a throwing cold water on something coming under the queen of wands there now let's see your person and i get the feeling you're pretty stable too remember we have the uh, nine of pentacles on the bottom of the deck on this reading so both of you guys stay stable people now their advice what's their advice from spirit for towards you in terms of this relationship capricorns their advice now is the knight of pentacles that's got to be reassuring to you, Capricorn. Uh, th this tells me, you know, they of course don't have to take this advice. Um, but I think it, I think they, they're solid. They will. They'll do like the right thing. I think you can pretty much count on it. And so this is the advice from Spirit for them to take it forward and take it slow and be really the Empress here in this uh, relationship. 
um, I think is how you might could put this, right? And now here, I want to look at the advice from Spirit for the relationship as a whole. I don't know if you're going to like this or not like this, Caps, but it the advice from Spirit is you guys need to spend time together. And it's implying that you both need to go into the hermit mode or or channel your inner hermit mode and really point your finger at yourselves, point your finger inward, you know. I get the feeling there's something going on in terms of the relationship here, like both of you pointing your fingers, you know, inward. And the hermit here is in the crux of the heart spread, I call it, um, the heart of the matter. The outcome, in some ways, could be more important than the outcome. And I see this advice in some way involving the two of you being alone together somewhere um, and maybe for some extended period of time but you know um, doing the good work here maybe you're both spiritual people and you, you are both uh, doing the w good work the shadow work the light work let's see what we got for an outcome guys oh my god just about fainted wouldn't that be funny if I fainted? And there's the bottom of the deck. There's seven of pentacles here. Just to prolong the outcome a little bit. The outcome card is the ten of cups, man. And what a beautiful ten of cups this is, too. Um, they just are really adoring this baby, you know. These, everybody in this deck looks like they're like 14 years old to me. I've never seen such a young uh, uh, strength card, the young woman, even the kings and queens, even, you know. Uh, but look at this, how beautiful the Ten of Cups here. Now, I don't know, you tell me, what could be better for the outcome of the heart spread uh, than the Ten of Cups, guys? So, Capricorn, um, it kind of shows a process here. Um your person even though you blew their mind um they're absorbing it and they're gonna uh, maintain their composure and come at you um and you're gonna say something here whatever you have to say i mean you are like i said you have the nine of pentacles energy too around you you know you're you're not desperate you're not needy